I literally just got the notification that Chris Apps Porzingis is going to return for game one of the finals. So I guess that's what we're talking about today. Uh, I think it's very easy to sort of forget that the Celtics were missing Chris Apps Porzingis because they didn't really miss a beat when he was out. He missed the entirety of the Cleveland and Indiana series. So like very easy to forget like, oh, Boston's missing their starting center. And he's a really big piece to what they do. He's a really big reason they won 64 games during the regular season because there aren't so many big men who could both stretch the defense out to the three-point line and protect the rim. And Porzingis can not only do that, but he could do both at a really elite level. 37% from three during the regular season and held opponents within six feet of the rim to almost 14% worse shooting than they would otherwise have. So you're talking about an elite rim protector and a good enough outside shooter at the center spot to really stretch out the defense. And he's what really makes Boston so unfair because they have four guys who could pass, dribble, shoot, and then to have the stretch five who could also protect the rim. Like it's just, it, it's the ultimate cheat code. And to get that back for the finals, it's, 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 it adds just a completely new and elite dimension because Horford, you know, to his credit, I think has done a good job filling in. But I think aside from getting Porzingis back and everything he, he brings, I think it's a great trickle down effect to put Horford back on the bench, which I think is where he should be at this stage of his career. He literally just turned 38 years old yesterday. And I think to have him, you know, try and, try and you know, defend Lively and, and Gafford in the lobs and then to switch out on Luka and Kyrie at this stage of his career, is just, it's just not doable. Definitely not doable for the minutes he's going to have to do if Porzingis was out. But now you have Porzingis back, it, it, you know, fulfills everything that's made the Celtics so dominant at both ends throughout this season. And, and to get that back is, is incredible for their hopes because I think a lot of people maybe thought it was more even between Dallas and Boston than maybe it was, but you get this guy back, wow. Which is not to say it's not without its own questions. Uh, you know, Porzingis, like I, I'm very curious to see what it's going to be like because every time you come back from injury, there's always a ramp up period, but this is no ordinary ramp up period. So I'm really curious to know what Porzingis is gonna look like after missing over a month to just get thrown back into finals level basketball. That's something he's never experienced He's not going to have a chance to ease in. And so I'm very curious to see how that's going to work. How he's going to, you know, are they going to ease into it? Are they going to throw him into the fire? How is he going to look? How is Dallas going to play it? Very interesting to see because it was a very big topic of conversation with the Minnesota series where does Gobert continue to play and drop coverage or does he, you know, go up to the level of the screen? Obviously the, the thing that makes Luca so great is it doesn't really matter because whatever you do, he's just going to screw you over. He's going to dominate. So it'll be very interesting to see what kind of defense they put Porzingis in, how that affects the lob game, spread out to the three-point shooters. Um, you know, the one good positive for Porzingis coming back is that it's not like Dallas has the size to bully him. They have size, but it's not like good and Embiid or Jokic is someone who you're going to give the ball to to bully down low. So that's really going to help. But ultimately, it's it, it it's one again. I, I said this at the top. Like you forget that he's been missing because Boston hasn't missed a beat. And, and they could still easily win the series without him, but to have him back and to have this cheat code come back into the lineup right at the start of the finals, it's not like he's gonna be coming in, you know, in like a pivotal game three with the series tied or four, game four down two one. Like, no, he's coming back right from the jump. They're gonna be able to get him back in. And it's it's it, it definitely has a chance to swing the finals in Boston's favor.